<laughs> Anna stressed me out. But the little Rasta girl with them trim off her ear. Now, I want to say this and I say this and I'm not going to do a long on this. I want to the most hurtful thing me ever come across for the past 30 of the years, 40 years me I live. Remember, you know, this worse than when them turn away a picnic from school because of locks. No. <sighs> You know, take it up by yourself, Mrs. Officer, and cut the girl ear. Now, that painful, you know, and there's a bunch of other painful things that come with it, you know, because, me see a man said the Prime Minister of a so called him, uh, and a few minutes, few moments later, him arrested and in a custody and after he apologized on camera. Now, this happened two days now. Today, I'm gonna make two days. All now, we can't see the police woman. All now, we don't see a public apology. All now, she still a walk up and down. And nobody no know say she did a very disrespect message me. The officer come out with a public apology. We no make, we no make the officer known public. She feel walk in a shame. She no fi can walk up and down good now. She see her picture, or see her video, and she need to be removed from frontline duty. See it? Next thing with it happen. The little girl, well, she's not a little girl. She's an adult. She's 19. She need to sue, first of all, the police officer independently. Sue her as a person for assault and defacing your image and, and going against your religious beliefs and your religious principles. Then, Remember, so she work for the Jamaica Constabulary Force. See? So, you go sue the Jamaica Constabulary Force also. See? The Jamaica Constabulary Force is also an entity of the Jamaican government. Because it's government owned. Jamaica Constabulary. So, you go sue the Jamaica government too. That are the police by herself as an individual. You got so hard for assault and, and, and emotional stress and all of them things, the mental damage and all of them things. See? Then you got so the Jamaica Constabulary Force because she is a member of the JCF and the JCF is the company where she that represent while she assault you and, uh, and, and disgrace you and embarrass you. And call for unwillingly and everything. So you sue the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Then, remember said the Jamaica Constabulary Force is a branch of the government. It's government owned and government operated and everything we have to do with government. So, you are going to sue the government of Jamaica. Zin, for the irresponsibility and the disrespect and the assault will come up on you from the Jamaica Constabulary Force. See? It? Then you go go far than that. You go sue the crown, which is the Queen of England, who is responsible for the government, who is responsible for the Jamaica Constabulary Force, who is responsible for assaulting and disrespecting you and disrespecting your 
faith, you believe. Listen, let me tell you something. Religion is one of the more serious things to the crown. If you disrespect, if you're going to a church, if police going to a church, you're going to lock up a pastor right now. A trouble. So for them, see you are represent your faith as a Rastafarian, where you never trim from your barn, and she take it upon herself and trim you. Sue the crown as well. So you are so the police woman independently as a person to assault you and cut your ear without your permission and them things. Then, then you are going to sue the Jamaica Constabulary Force because she worked for them and she was on the job while she do that. She was in uniform and on the job and in a one of them establishment. Because the station is an establishment, is a business. Um, then you are going to sue the government for negligence and not having the proper worker in place. Because the worker no know the law and no know the code of conduct and go beyond the law and the code of conduct and trim your ear. She's not a barber. And her ear just say you go. Then after you sue the government, you are sue the crown. You understand? Because the government and the police folks work for the crown. It might be a long uphill battle, but do not give up or get weary. If the Jamaican lawyer them afraid and I want to take it on, reach out to international lawyers. Work out a percentage and if them even get more percentage than you in a business. Just as long as they get compensated for your damage, this not going to come off of you for the rest of your life. You're scarred emotionally, physically, spiritually for life. So this is not a talk over thing. This is not a joke thing. You understand what I mean, I say? Yeah. So I don't know joke thing this. See them where all you see them quick for certain things. All them not quick for this. All nobody not come out. All them not quick for this. All nobody not talk up for this. Next thing more I say. Why? Why everybody await my footer hype for talk about this? Some of the people get by my nerves too, you know. Oh, up to now, Mina see one million Rasta upper uh, the Prime Minister office. Oh, Mina see one million. Rasta up at the human rights office. Oh, me not see every Rasta were publicly famous. I protest against this. Poor Lucas Spraga Benz alone may see a fight. Are we to believe that Rasta forism in Jamaica is finished? Are we to believe that there are no more real Rasta in Jamaica. Warm to Bobo. Warm to Naya Bingi. Warm to 12 tribe. Warm to the children of Israel. Warm. Where are the Rasta them now? What happened? Why do you miss the rest of them and lose it and make cuss off the rest of them? The amount of people them were different and jumping on me day, man. Mine on me attack about rest of them. Why don't want me to say no? Because they not even speak up for no own. So who no can talk to no? Where the man them make millions of dollars for rest of them? We see them injustice at the rest of them. In this time, 2021, and everybody quiet. I want to do me sitting and watch Instagram, you know. I said, let me see who I got vent, you know, you know. 
No Rasta no Vental no, you know? All no, me not see one Rasta vent. All no, all no, all no, all no, all no, all no, all no. Who much Rasta in a Jamaica? Up at the Prime Minister office with full of Rasta right now with be a flag and drum. We never say go up, they go fight nobody or chop up nobody or do nothing. Go up the unified as a movement. And go argue them injustice here, brother. Yes, it's about human rights violation, but I'm saying Rastafarism is a movement. The little girl, a old Rastafari, had her from Shiban. And them do her this at age 19. I mean, I see no reaction from the Rasta movement. Where the will I Rasta artist them there? The man they may make millions out of Rasta thing on the day. Who, this not, yo, the way this hurt me. This make me feel like I would have take up a thing and got, yo, I cheer they even know, yo. This make me feel like I would have hurt some people. And then I'm gonna go hold Rastafari reasoning with me. I'm gonna go and style me, so them a Rasta. If I did go do some Santa Claus video, they would have got to do it already. If I go in at some jerk chicken performance, they would have do it already. If I got signed to some record label with some shaky boy, it would have happened already. If I make a rapper come in at them studio, come cock up them foot on them table, it's the happen already. 